There you go, the curtain comes down on the pre-season tours. Manchester United have lost, man, 3-0 to Liverpool. Um, that was a weird game. It was a weird game because actually for large like moments and large periods of the game, um, we were the better side. We were moving the ball well, we were creating chances, we were getting shots on target. To be honest, we were very wasteful. I thought the first 15, 20 minutes of the game, we settled into our rhythm, we was moving the ball well through the thirds, and again, creating chances, but just couldn't score. And that was the theme all night we just couldn't score um, and as soon as there was mistakes as soon as somebody you know misplaced the pass or took their eye off the ball it resulted in a goal um, which look in pre-season th th that happens you, it, it's not so much about the, the results it's, it's the performances you want to see of course we've got loads of players missing um, so you can't be too downhearted and critical you have to look at it for what it is let's, let's break this down okay Onana well, is the starting goalkeeper so that is what it is but the back four, you've got a right back in Aaron Wambasaka, who is pretty much going to be moving on. It, it looks that way. Probably played his last game for Manchester United. Football's a funny game. You can never say for sure and be 100% for sure, but it definitely seems that way. You've got Johnny Evans in there, who, OK, he signed a year extension, but the plan in terms of starting games and moving forward in games... Of, of course, he's had to play. He's played the most minutes out of all the centre backs last year. We don't want that to be the case this year. Victor Lindelof looks as though he's moving on as well. That we're waiting for that domino to probably fall before Delict and others maybe come. And then you're looking at a, a, a teenager in Harry Amas who's actually had a good, a good tour and, and shown some good promise and played against Mo Salah today, which is great, great for him. But my point being is, is that back four already in this type of game. Um, puts us at a disadvantage but that's what we've got that's that's who we had available and that's the team we had to put out we already had to take Harry Maguire out of today's match day squad which Eric Ten Hag said was a precaution because the charity shield is is literally is next week and the sort of team that we're going to be able to field and how we need to prep for the season considering the injuries that we got and lack of players in yet yeah, and out um, we had to plan accordingly so that's why I'm like I'm not fuming at that. I'm like, we, we still got massive issues there. The depth, you know, when, when, the, when those guys have to play away from our starting, you know, defence is, is not there. And it's night and day in terms of the quality. That would have been Dallo. It would have been, hopefully, Delic slash Yoro. It would have been Lissandro Martinez. And it would have been Shaw. So it would have been four completely different players with Harry Amos of a bright future. So I'm not too concerned there because I know why that's happened. But I could see why it was wrong. Um, there's been a lot of... Um, criticism for Casemiro today um, it's just it's just really alarming to be honest with you diving into tackles I mean the way Carvalho just I don't even want to call it a shimmy it's like it was the same thing like what Elise did to Casemiro uh, when we lost 4-0 at, um, at Selhurst Park just a slight drop of the shoulder and Casemiro's just gone he's just out of the game instantly um, He's, he's struggling to, to read the game. He's struggling to keep up to, up to speed with the game. He's struggling with the ball at his feet, technically. Um, it's just a mess. It is, it is a mess. And it, it, to me, it doesn't feel like just some cobwebs where he just needs to shake off. It feels to me like that, that experiment or that, you know, we can't, we can't persist with that. So that's very alarming. I think Toby Collier is, is looking sharp. I think he's still got a way to go before he can play consistently in the Premier League. I think he's, he think he's a while off that. But I like the way he gets around the pitch. I like the way he uses the ball. But he still doesn't read the game as quickly as he should because he's very young. He's very young. And, you know, Manchester United think highly of him and the coaches are speaking highly of him. And maybe he can be the next one, but not quite yet. So it was always going to be a, a, a tough ask in there. You know, they had Mason Mount in the 10. Again, trying to impose himself. He had a couple of shots on target. Probably should have scored today. Got into some good positions. Used the ball quite well. But again, was, was quite wasteful. And as, as an experienced player... I was looking for him to get on the end of things and, and, and make things happen and, and those type of chances he had, he probably should have scored at least at least one um, today and in, in that sort of wasteful period. And into the front three, I think Rashford again got into good positions, looked quite sharp taking players on when he was on the front foot, but the final decision making just wasn't there. Ahmad on the other side in the first half didn't have his best game, a little bit wasteful from some, some of the positions he was in. But then the second half, you know, livened up a little bit, and, but he was involved. And Jaden Sancho up front, although he wasn't on the end of chances and he wasn't on the end of, um, you know, shooting up opportunities, he kept the ball well, he made some decent runs as a false line. But again, we know that's not a plan. So the things that were wrong with us today, I can see why. 
the things that, are, that, that we need to fix, we knew before the game. It's glaringly obvious. We need players in ASAP and we need players out ASAP. And it's going to be tough to do that, but that's what needs to be done. We've got to let this new regime cook. We know that Dilit's on ice. We know that Mazwari is looking like it's going to get done. The midfield is the one that's scary for me because I, 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 we need two, man. We need to. I don't think we're going to get it. Or we have to see what happens with Amrabat if we're leaving him to, to the last minute. We'll see what outgoings we can get. You're looking at Ericsson leaving. We'll see what happens with Scott. That's two. Casemiro, I, I just, no one's going to come in for him. I don't think the Saudi thing's going to happen. You never know late in the window. You never say never, but he'll probably have to stay. But definitely in Scott McTominay and, and Christian Ericsson, you've got to see what type of money we can raise for them. If We've got to get 30, 30 plus for Scott McTominay if we want to get him to Fulham, if it, that's what the reports are saying. Um, and Christian Ericsson, it's not going to be a big fee, but again, another player who looks like he's going to be moving on so for me I, we, we need two central midfielders Ugarte fair enough he looks like the right stylistic player to come in in terms of his profile he can get about the pitch because um, we need to be partnering and, 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 and building this team around Kobe Mainu and he's going to need someone in there with legs and somebody who can play as well but again I need another one midfielders the midfield area for me is just it's such, a, it's such a worry for me. I think when players get back, we can't underestimate that. I spoke about the players in the back four that will get back, but the front the front line, obviously, yeah, we know Rasmus is, is gone for six weeks, but you know, Joshua Zerks, he's training hard at, at Carrington. You've got um, Garnacho, who's training hard at Carrington. So they're two big players to come back in as well. And we'll see what happens with Jaden Sancho if he stays or if he goes. But again, that's going to add depth. And Ahmad, everyone's saying it here, everyone's excited. This has been a really good tour for Ahmad on a personal. Of course, the, the performances of the whole team has been mixed. It's been up and down. But Ahmad, uh, uh, overall we're all we're all in agreement that listen he's at least got to start the season because look at where look at where United are and look at the players that are coming back in so listen you get Bruno back in there you get Dalo Martinez you get Kobe Monu back in there you get Garnacho back in there you get you, you allow us to be able to use Joshua Zaks you have a look at him instantly the quality of our team goes up and obviously the back four in terms of Luke Shaw as well um it, it helps. Um, so I'm not too worried about that, but it will be a long season if we don't get these transfers over the line. One thing is losing a game against Liverpool. You never want to do that. Um, and, 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 and the manner of the game, you know, f f for large parts of the games, I was impressed. But then, you know, equal, I'd say about 50-50. 50% I was like, yeah, you know what? We're on the front foot. We're doing well here. And the other 50% you're like, oh, it's alarming. It's alarming when the quality drops off or when the players that we need to be um, involved aren't here. And, and, and again, Eric Ten Hag, like the pressure's on it. The fans have spoken about the pressure that's on Eric to, to deliver. We know that, but we also need to be patient. And he's been without a lot of players uh, for this preseason tour. It hasn't been ideal. So it's the same for many teams because of the, 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 the international tournaments that have been happening. But it's going to be a long season. I said this game is all about uh, the, the, Car the Carabao Cup, the, the charity shield. Next week, let's see, let's see how it goes. Uh, players will be back. And let's get some minutes in Bruno's legs. Let's get some minutes in Dallo, Luke Shaw, Garnacho, etc., etc. So we're ready for that Fulham game because we need to start with the three points at Old Trafford on that Friday night on the opening day of the season. This has been the American Tour. This has been United View. Thank you guys for tuning in. Thanks to everyone we've come across. Big up to every single one of you. It's raining. I don't want the camera to get absolutely soaked. So I'm going to exit here. We're out of here. Smash the like on the video. Subscribe to the channel if you are new. Take care. Peace.